Hello and welcome to another episode here on the War of the Rebellion channel. Today we are going to start a new series where we are going to explore material I covered in my book Liberty and Slavery published by Alice U Press. In the series we are going to look at a number of individuals, migrants from Austria, Hungary, Poland, Germany and Ireland and how they experienced European revolutionary events, how they came to the United States and witnessed the war of the rebellion and in a few cases also what they did after the war of the rebellion. Patrick Claiborne was born in March of 1828. His mother died very soon after and what his father and his father's new 19 year old wife who raised Claiborne in Ireland on their estate. They were small landowners in the region around Cork. Despite their lack of means. Claiborne's father watched out that his son obtained a good basic education. We don't know a lot about Patrick Claiborne's upbringing, his early life in Ireland, but there's a few things that we do know. For example, his father died very young in 1843, at which point with the finances of the family strained extremely, Claiborne decided to leave school and he tried to enter an apprenticeship. He wanted to become an apothecary, but unfortunately he failed the exam to enter that school. Faced with what he likely considered a personal failure, Claiborne decided to do something else, not be a burden on his family and not become an grained in the failing agricultural society of Ireland at the time. As a result, he enlisted in the 41st Regiment on Foot in the British Army. His hope was that the regiment would go to Madras as was planned. But unfortunately, instead, the regiment remained in Ireland, where in 1848 it had to deal with a small revolution. It is unclear how much the regiment was involved and especially Claiborne himself was involved in subduing and dealing with this rebellion. Dissatisfied with this military career of his, Claiborne used money from his inheritance to buy himself out of the British army and decided with his siblings to come to the United States for a better home. They arrived in December of 1849 in New Orleans. From there they went up the Mississippi River and initially settled in Cincinnati. After a brief stay in Cincinnati, Claiborne relocated a second time, this time to Helena, Arkansas, where he would work in a drugstore. Again, we don't know much about Patrick Claiborne's upbringing, his early life. It was an upbringing of wealth, neither was it an upbringing of revolution. So Claiborne has a very different base 
that he brings to what eventually becomes the War of the Rebellion. If these brief episodes sparked your interest about the individuals covered, please consider not only subscribing and liking this channel, commenting on this episode, but also looking into purchasing my book, Liberty and Slavery, published by LSU Press.